morning, tree climbers. This is Miss Erin and Mr. Brian reporting to you live from Zach's Tree House on Sunday, March 29th, 2020. Hi guys, we're interrupting your current homeschool lesson to bring you some breaking news. Last week, we brought you a story about a young man named Luke who spent all of his dad's money and when he came home, his dad forgave him. We found out another part of this story that we thought you should know. Luke, as you know, squandered all of his dad's money, but he had an older brother named Bobby. And Bobby was a really hard worker and got really upset at Luke for all that he did. He was even mad at his dad for being so forgiving and throwing him a party. STUMC's own Bailey Rhodes sits down with Luke to get the scoop on his side of the story. His glasses, Bailey, out to you. Thanks, Brian. This is Bailey Rhodes here with Wild Luke again. As a recap of last week, his dad gave him a share of his inheritance. But as you know, his dad forgave him. But isn't there a little bit more to the story than that? Well, Bailey, there is. My older brother, Bobby, he's a goody two-shoes, you know? He never does anything wrong. I'm sure you know some people like that. And uh, he came home from work one day. And my dad was throwing me a party because I came home, you know. And uh, let's just say Bobby wasn't too thrilled, you know. Hey, Bobby. What's going on in there? Well, your dad is throwing a big party. Your brother Luke is back. I'm not going in there. Bobby, you're back. Luke came home. Come on inside and celebrate with us. All these years, every chore I've done without complaining, you didn't give me anything, not even a pizza for me and my friends to celebrate with. And then he goes up and spends all of your money on a ridiculous necklace and toilet paper? Bobby, I love you. All of, all of this, this house, this stuff outside, all of it is yours. But your brother Luke was gone. He was lost, but now he's found. Come inside. Wow. That Bobby guy looks so familiar. It's creepy. Well, he seems really angry and jealous. Do you think he'll ever get over it? It's hard to say, you know. I mean, he missed out on a great party, and uh, I just hope that he can get over it because we can have some fun together, you know? Yeah, Bobby has a lot to learn. Aaron and Brian, back to you in the studio. Thanks, Bailey. That's a tough one, Miss Aaron, but I know the dad did the best he could. Bobby will just have to make the choice to forgive. Agreed. If he chooses not to forgive, he could really be missing out on a great friendship with his brother and maybe even his dad. Let's hope he made the right choice. And who knows, maybe his dad will even throw him a party. Stay tuned to STUMC 19 for a new life app and memory verse. Stay, Stay safe, safe, Sycamore Tree. tree. I hope you enjoyed part two of our prodigal son video. The thing about this story is that Jesus doesn't tell us whether the older brother forgave the younger brother, but what we can do with that is put our, ourselves in the older brother's shoes. Is there someone that need, we need to forgive? Is there a grudge that we're holding that we need to let go of? It's a lot to think about. So this week, talk with your families about who you might need to forgive or something that happened in the past that you need to let go of. I hope that you all have a great week. I miss you so much. I love you, and I hope to see you really soon. Bye.